All new at three, it has been an exciting summer for one Tampa nursery owner. What started out as hosting nature camps for kids has blossomed into an invitation to NASA to speak about sustainability. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has more. Juanita Camacho says it doesn't matter if you're six or seven years old or one of NASA's top scientists. When it comes to sustainability, the facts remain the same. Last off. <laughs> Anita Camacho is known for her fun and educational butterfly releases at Little Red Wagon Native Nursery. But she never imagined what she's been teaching to Tampa children would have just as much of an impact on the scientists of NASA. Pretty big um, focus at NASA on sustainability overall and trying to reduce the footprint of everything that they're doing there. So it's, a, it's kind of a big initiative for them and, and I was part of a speaker series. Anita says it's nice to know that the dozens of camps she holds every year on animals, insects, and plants were noticed all the way in Cape Canaveral. You get that call from NASA to come and talk to their engineers and scientists about sustainability. What's your reaction? I was like, are you sure you're talking to the right person? Scientists watched and listened, both in person and online across the country. And Anita wasted no time bringing up her favorite insect. Uh, one thing that actually, I guess, got their attention was the, the mission in 2009 uh, with the Atlantis going up into space with three monarchs. Mm -hmm. So that was uh, part of my talk. Believe it or not, the experience really wasn't that much different than teaching her kids summer camps. Is it the same? <laughs> it, you know, it is because, you know, they're rocket scientists and they're, they do amazing things. And I couldn't even imagine doing what they do. but. You know, when it comes to what can we do here on Earth in our own backyard and making it sustainable, it's a different conversation than they're used to. And a lot of them were interested in, in starting a pollinator garden or a butterfly garden. And some of them are already doing some things and had some questions on how they could do even more. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.